folks, that's from HarlemAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we'll be looking at ROM of the week, uh, Liquid Smooth ROM. This is a Android 4.4 KitKat ROM with a ton of customizations. One of my favorite ROMs, and it is available for many, many different Android devices, including the Note 2, Note 3, S3, S4, S5, uh, even OnePlus One, Xperia Z, Z1, Z2. Um, you know, there's a ton of support supported devices uh, that you can install this ROM on. But let me go ahead and show you what this ROM is all about. Let's go ahead and take a look, baby. Let's go do this, baby. Hi, right, so let me go ahead and show you some of the devices that Liquid Smooth supports that I have te personally tested. Um, so I've got Liquid Smooth running on my OnePlus One. Also, I've got uh, running on my HTC One M8. It is also built for uh, the M7. All the variants of the HTC One. Also, the Galaxy S3. Uh, for all the Qualcomm-based Galaxy S3, it is available. Also, for the Galaxy S4, it is also available. Um, very nice stuff. And also, all the Nexus devices, including the Nexus 5, which I've got here, which is running the... Uh, Liquid Smooth ROM and check out these buttons. Um, you got uh, this is actually it comes with two launchers. Um, it actually comes with its own Liquid Smooth launcher, uh, which I really like. It's got the Android L preview. If you've got a phone that does not have hardware buttons, also you can go ahead and enable soft buttons even if you do have hardware buttons. Also, for all the variants of Galaxy Nexus, again, it is also available for Nexus 4, Nexus 5, Nexus 7, Nexus 10, also the Note. Two. Oh yeah, and of course the Galaxy S5. The Galaxy S5 version does not have NFC working, but everything else is working. Um, so pretty good deal here, and also the Galaxy Note 3. Um, so let me go ahead and just grab one of these and show you. Uh, before I begin, for Samsung users, you're gonna lose all of your, you know, features, TouchWiz feature, all those magical features you're gonna lose. Um, this isn't a ROM for those of you who use uh, a lot of the TouchWiz features. This is a ROM for those of you who wanna run pure Android, but with a ton of great customizations. Now, Liquid Smooth ROM is running on the latest Android 4.4.4. Um, you can add cool stuff like I've got, uh, um, I've got my Pi controls here, and I've got my App Circle bar, which I can. Uh, quickly launch and kill apps uh, which is really cool and I even have gesture shortcuts here there we go if I type C it's going to go to straight to my camera all of this you can customize and I'll show you um, and uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you for those of you who are new to this type of ROMs uh, for those of you you know uh, who've been watching my ROM videos you probably know exactly what I'm talking about so you can go ahead and skip all this just install it it's a great ROM uh, let me go into settings here and uh, let's go through one by one for those of you noobs uh, So total blackout if you leave this on it's gonna save you battery life on a phone uh, All the galaxy phones that use AMOLED screen uh, because the black pixels use zero energy versus uh, Regular LCD which you still uses energy. So if you have a Samsung device make sure you uh, leave total blackout on and you'll be able to get uh, all of the latest CM11 compatible themes here. Uh, and also you can go ahead and install one plus one theme if you want to. Also Liquid Smooth here, this is where you can uh, customize all of your features, customization. For Equalizer, um, you can install Viper for Android here. And go ahead and install it. Uh, make sure you reboot and uh, this is probably one of the best uh, Equalizer out there. I do have a full tutorial guide on how to uh, set, it, set that up, so check that out also. Uh, interface, you'll be able to change your custom density. Um, just move the line here and set your custom density, uh, which is great. Also, clock widget, weather panel, you can go ahead and use Yahoo weather widget or open weather map and set your uh, zip code or cities. Um, you know, all those options there. Calendar events, if you want to have your calendar showing up, Along with the weather, make sure you enable that. Also, power menu, you can go ahead and add screenshots and a ton of more options like Pi controls if you want to. If you want to enable it, disable it, um, you can do all that nice stuff here. Uh, but screenshot, looking nice there. Uh, recent panel, you can also change it to slim style recent uh, instead of the stock. Wait for it. There we go. And this will get you this slim style. Um, I personally like just the regular one uh, because I'm used to it, but um, you know, 
if you like the slim style, it is available. And this is a normal one. And you can go ahead and also change the clear all button if you want to the position uh, by going back into interface and recent panel. Um, you can go ahead and change that to top right if you want to or top down uh, wherever you want to. And also let's go into uh, shake events. This is one of my favorites. I have it set so if I check my phone horizontally, I will have a flashlight um, flash it, turn it off by shaking it again. Now you may want to turn this off when you're driving. Uh, sometimes it will activate it uh, with the bumps on the road. Um, so just turn it off when you're driving, but it is a great way to turn on your flashlight uh, without thinking, you know. Some of these phones actually don't have a flashlight app. Um, so you actually, some people are just downloading flashlight app just to use a flashlight. Uh, this makes it a lot more simpler. Also, let's go into lock screen here. You can go ahead and customize all of your buttons here. Uh, for example, if you want to change the long press um, to do flashlight, uh, let's say you don't like shaking your phone, you can go ahead and hold down the home button to activate um, your flashlight and it's still on. Uh, you'll have to actually activate it again to turn it off or manually turn it off. Um, so don't forget that. But you can go ahead and set that for all the long presses. Um, there's a bunch of different options. Uh, lock screen rotations, this is kind of cool. I know a lot of you have been asking me, when I'm driving, I, I want to rotate my lock screen. Um, so this will allow you to do that. Um, you know, I won't go over all of it, but uh, I'll let you uh, mess with some of the other stuff. App Circle Ball, this is the one we saw earlier where we could just, you know, this is one of my favorite navigation controls. You can go ahead and change the trigger width, position, height. Uh, so it will only trigger when you need it. Also, you got Gesture Anywhere. This is where I showed you. Um, you can go ahead and add as many gestures as you want. So if you want a calendar, uh, instead of C, you can do A or like a arrow there, um, you know, you can add a, lot, a ton of gestures. One of the cool things about the OnePlus One is that it comes with off-screen gestures. Um, it's not as cool as that, but you can still do uh, on-screen um, gestures, which is, ah, which is really nice. That will launch the calendar. And this one, I didn't sign in to Google, so it won't let me do it. You can also press the X to get rid of it. Um, change the width also on this one so it will only trigger when you want to. Also slim pie controls and paranoid android pie controls. There's two different type of pie controls. Um, you can go ahead and set it to uh, you know all your shortcuts. Um, this is a great way to use your phone with one hand especially on a bigger phone like this and uh, not have to go down here to press the button. So another way to uh, add uh, more navigation. Also, if you want those soft buttons, if you have a hardware key, go ahead and enable navigation bar. Uh, also, you can go ahead and add up to five different more buttons, or five, up to five buttons. And you can see I've got menu, and you can get also get rid of it. Very easy to customize your buttons. You can change all these. You don't even need home button. Um, you can actually use these uh, as something else. Let's say you know you already have hardware buttons, then you can go ahead and uh, put like your custom apps. You know, how cool is that, right? And that's extra five stuff you can do. And you can also change it. Um, so you can also change the long press uh, value of it there. Uh, I forget how to do it, but there's a way to do it. I'll let you figure that out. Um, also ring targets. If you do have uh, soft buttons enabled, you'll be able to get make use of your uh, ring targets. You can also add a ton of stuff here. Uh, but if you don't have the soft buttons enabled, you won't be able to uh, access it. So make sure you enable it. Um, also, you can change the size of it. So that's navigation, a ton of ways to make your phone more efficient, um, something that pure Google does not provide, but this one does. Um, also notifications, active display, um, just like uh, my Moto X phone, you can go ahead and enable active display, halo, heads up, hover, all of these stuff. My, one of my favorite is a lock screen. It is enabled by default. Uh, this will give you all of your notifications in your lock screen. Um, so you can go ahead and, whoops. Um, you can go ahead and there we go. Look at your notification there. And I do have too many navigation things enabled. Um, so that might be why. So make sure when you use a combination of navigation um, you don't overdo it like I did here, but I'm just overdoing it to show you 
all the different things you can do. Uh, more stuff you can do with notification, a ton. A status bar, you can also change the battery icon, enable brightness control, um, all the standard stuff, double tap to sleep, and here we go. And also performance. Uh, for the Note 3 that I've got here, you can go ahead, it does come with an overclockable kernel. I've got it overclocked to 2.8 gigahertz. That's faster than a stock Galaxy S5. Um, also, on many of the phones, there is overclocking. If there is an overclocking, you may have to find a custom kernel that's uh, compatible with this ROM. Um, you may want to search for Android 4.4.4 AOSP kernels and try it out. Sometimes all these kernels are not compatible with all the custom ROMs. So, um, you know, the only way to do it is find out uh, or listen to recommendations by people like me. And uh, I will try to go through all the phones and uh, update it. Um, but uh, if you don't see it on my site, um, you may have to try it on your own. Other than that, it's a very, very nice ROM as I'm showing you. Um, again, you're not going to have any S Pen features. I mean, you can use S, you can still use your S Pen using uh, S Pen alternative apps for all the Note series. Uh, but overall, I really love this ROM. It is very fast, um, no lag whatsoever, a ton of customization, um, you know, lock screen notifications, lock screen uh, rotation, um, all this cool stuff. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my app circle bar here. Yeah. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, it is a pretty cool ROM. Definitely check it out. If you have a phone that's supported, check out the download page uh, on my site and also Liquid Team's site um, to see if your phone is supported. If it is, go ahead and root your phone, install the ROM, enjoy the goodness of Android 4.4.4 and the high level of customization that Liquid Smooth Team brings. And don't forget to donate to these guys. Uh, I'll have links on my site. And thanks guys for watching this video. As always, uh, stay on Android.